Hey guys, welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name is Erica and I make videos all about making and selling candles. And you guys can see my hands more in this video so you can see how much I use my hands when I talk. So I'm gonna try my best to not be overly um, expressive with them, but I really can't help it. Um, but in today's video, we're gonna be going over how I package up my Etsy orders. This isn't a real order um, just because uh, it's later on in the afternoon and any packages I ship out is typically in the earlier morning. So I'm just gonna take my time and just show you guys the um, products and the supplies that I use to package everything up with and uh, we're gonna go from there but real quick before I get into the video just because I know that a lot of people don't necessarily uh, watch the whole video all the way through so I had an idea for another video that I want to do because I get so many questions in my comment section and also in my DMS on Instagram just general candle questions and I kind of want to make a whole video just kind of like a Q&A on just candle making candle questions so um, what I want you guys to do is in the comment section of this video any questions you're curious about um, or you want me to answer in a future video go ahead and leave them in the comment section below and I will just gather everything um, of all the questions that I get and make a whole video on it so that's all I wanted to say so we'll go ahead and get into the video on how I package up my items first things first um, I will go ahead and link my shipping video up here in a card so you guys can um, go to that video once you're done with this one if you guys are curious on how the cost and how to actually ship your items um, so you guys can watch that video but we're gonna start with my wax melts so these are just the little tart melt clamshells that I sell and I sell them or I ship them in um, poly mailers so they are light enough to go first class and first class just means you can ship it when it's under a pound so I'm able to just wrap it up and put it inside of this poly mailer so what I do is I take a piece of tissue paper and this is just the color that I chose to kind of go with like the green leaves eucalyptus that I have in all of my photos and everything and um, so what I'll do is I'll take one of these sheets and they actually come a little bit bigger so that's half the size so this is the full sheet right here and i just cut in half because it's not necessarily necessary for a tart melt to have a big sheet like that so oh yeah you guys can see what i'm doing so i just fold it over fold it over fold it over and then i fold in the ends And then I take my little thank you stickers and these are just ones that I made myself and designed. And I take this and just seal it up with a little thank you sticker. And it just says, thank you for supporting my small business. So it looks like that in the package. And then after I do that, I do wrap it up in bubble wrap. So I do a very similar thing. I just kind of wrap it up together and then from there, I just tape the sides in, just like that, just to make sure that it's protected. I mean, these aren't necessarily breakable the same way that glass is for jars, but you still wanna make sure that these are nice and protected. And then you can just slip it in right there, and then I always put in a sample in there. And I also put in a thank you card and one of my business cards as well. So this is the little thank you cards that I have. And I write a message in there and then inside I put my business card. And then I do wanna put in care cards soon. I am starting to design those and get those ordered and made so that I can put in care cards in every order. And then I just put it on the inside, fold it up. I always put my label on first just so it's not all bulky like this, but the labels that I use are from my Dymo and you honestly, if you're just getting started or you don't have like a lot of sales or anything, um, not to say that I have tons of sales right now, I'm just getting started, but because I had my eBay business before, I was using tons of these all the time. So what these are is they are thermal labels and that just means that it doesn't take any ink. So all you need to do is just buy the labels. You'd never have to buy any ink because it prints by the heat. So um, it's just these little labels and you can actually, um, it's like a big sticker essentially. So you can undo it, stick it, stick it right on the package and um, it prints out the label on there. You don't have to do anything else. Um, but if you're just getting started, you are more than welcome to just use a regular printer with regular printer paper and um, cut it out and then paste it onto the package. Totally fine. I used to do that all the time when I was first starting on eBay. So not a problem at all. 
But yeah, it's pretty simple um, for me to package it up. And I just like the black poly mailers. You can get any color, there's different designs. You can also get the bubble mailers too, which I probably should have gotten, but because I wrap it in bubble wrap, it's not, not a huge deal. So that's how I um, package those. And then for my candles, what I do is very similar in, this, in the, the look of them when I wrap them up. But what I do when I wrap them up is I kind of do like a burrito style. I would say. Um, so I start at the corner right here and I wrap in and then as I'm as I'm creasing over that first part I start to wrap it up on the sides and then I wrap it up more on the sides. Turn, turn, turn and I look for wherever the top is. I try to feel where the lid is and that's kind of the direction that I put the sticker at. So then I take a sticker and whoop don't drop the sticker and then I put it just on the side just like that and then I take this same thing as that one and I wrap it up fold it over but on this one I do it a little bit differently so I fold the bottom piece of tape. I'm so happy I got scotch tape and I only had packing tape and it was driving me insane. So I'm really happy that I got scotch tape. So I put that on there and these are the boxes that I use. So these are four by four by six boxes and I put it in there. So this is what it looks like inside. So it's open at the top. And the reason why I do that is because I was really confused on how I was able to put a sample in there. And I was looking all over. I was like, I don't know how I'm going to be able to put a sample in here. So what I'm able to do is put the sample right on top of the candle and then fold in everything on top just like that. So it'll protect the little sample and um, it'll be able to still close the top on. So now I'm gonna grab, because I forgot to grab another one, I'm gonna grab that thank you card and put that down on the side so it slides in really easily on the side right there. And then um, the sides are actually, if you hear, so when I shake it, I don't really want to hear any movement. So the the what you're trying to do is make sure there's the least amount of movement possible. So what I do is I take little packing peanuts and I start to shove it on the sides of the candle. And this just helps to add obviously um, like less, less movability with the candle. So I just put it on all four corners. And all these packing peanuts I got from candle orders. I think these were all from Candle Science. So I just keep it and just reuse it. You can't even hear it at all. So this to me would be well packed. From here, you're able to just package it up. And one thing that I noticed that I like to do is, um, so at the bottom, where I packaged up, put the tape at the bottom right here. The tape's right here, you can see the shiny part. So when I'm folding it in, I like to make sure that I'm putting the tape right here so that it leaves me a clean surface because I notice that if I try to tape it up this way and there's tape on all the sides right here that the label kind of gets a little bulky. And so what I'm able to do, I'm not gonna tape that down because I left my packing tape over there, but you're just gonna tape that up and then I'm gonna show you guys with this box that this label, it's blank, but you can see that it fits perfectly on this box. So it's literally, this box is a four by six and the label's a four by six, so it fits perfectly on here. So I was really happy about that. At first I thought it wasn't gonna fit, but it fits perfectly on there. So um, yeah, it's just kind of a quick video today, but I thought it would be interesting to show you guys exactly what I do and the supplies that I use to wrap up my eBay orders. And if you guys are interested in any of the supplies that I use, everything is always linked in the description box below, as well as everything that I use to make candles. I really do wanna start getting more eco-friendly options though because what I'm using is just a lot of plastic and I know that these little packing peanuts are not great. Um, I am looking into the ones that are made of cornstarch though um, and then I'm also looking into alternative to um, bubble wrap, maybe just more packing paper. Um, but for right now, this is just what I'm doing at the moment. Um, so, uh, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you guys liked it, I would love for you guys to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and don't forget to follow me on instagram at memory box candle co 
and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Did I say eBay anywhere else in this video? If I said eBay, I meant Etsy. It's a weird switch over.